Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutation unto the elect. All right, another day to preach this glorious gospel. All right, we are the Hebrew Israelites. All right, the true biblical Israelites. All right, who come from the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in which the Most High God, all right, the God of the Bible, is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? And through one of Jacob's sons, all right, named Judah, all right, who was the fourth born son, all right, for his mercy, okay, is going to come the Savior, okay? He came out of the loins of uh, Judah through Perez, all the way up. When you read the uh, book of Esther, you have uh, 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 Obed who had Jesse, who had David, okay? And out of David came Solomon. And when you read the scriptures, the narrative is that the Messiah, which would be the savior of the nation of Israel to gather them back together, all right, for a worldwide rulership, okay, would, would be the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, okay? He's spoken about all over the book, okay? He comes in a volume of the book. And we're here, all right, through grace, okay, to, to preach, all right, the downfall to you heathen nation, in an uprising of the nation of Israel under Yahawashai, who's going to set up the throne of David, okay, in which we're going to have an everlasting, fruitful, beautiful, in order kingdom, man. And that's the that's the key, order. The order of who? The order of Yahweh through Yahawashai, man, needs to be brought back to this earth. As the brothers always say, the earth needs new management, all right? So this is another day to preach this glorious gospel, okay, to, to as the scriptures say, We'll start off here. We always seem to start off here in the book of Isaiah, the 60th chapter, or the 61st chapter, okay? And this is what Yahawashai quoted, all right, when he went back home where he grew up at Nazareth, okay? And he quoted this scripture, and the wicked niggas try to throw him off of a cliff, man, because they don't want to deal with the authority that the Heavenly Father has set up through his son and his 144,000, all right? This is uh, Isaiah, the 60th uh, first chapter in the first verse. It says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. And who are the meek? The meek are those who are gonna be crushed. The meek are those who have accepted of their offense. You look at the mentality of our people, okay? They're marching around the earth as if the most high owes them something. Okay, when they haven't even sat down and came to the conclusion that something is wrong with them. They haven't. They haven't sought their power. When you read Leviticus, it tells you when we get cast off into this land, the only way the only way back to get delivered out of that is first acknowledging your offense and acknowledging that the Heavenly Father has put you in the land of your enemies and our people haven't figured that out yet. And that's what separates this gospel from any other gospel on the earth because we're not calling for this world to forward. You see, and our people are in captivity here mentally, and they really believe that they have a shot or that one of the, the, the presidents of the United States is going to finally open up things to where it's okay for them and their nation. No, it's not going to be like that. Okay, there may be a few uh, uh, glory stories amongst our people, uh, and, and for the most part, you have to sell out. But ultimately, as a nation, we're not going to flourish here. It's over, okay? And our people are filling out job applications to work at a burning building. You see, as the elder Malcolm said, you see, here it is, the building is burning and you are, are, are filling out an application to work at this very building. Okay, here it is, the Titanic is sinking and you trying to build a, a, a place where you can set up shop on a Titanic. America is a sinking ship. You see, so that's the beauty of wisdom, all right, which we have through grace, all right? It was a gift given unto us in these latter days so that we can come out here and speak the kingdom of heaven into existence. And that's what you're doing. If you're an Israelite, all right, a man, all right, who the Lord have chosen to preach this word, all right, and the sisters have their role as well, okay, ultimately that's the church. Basically, you were put on this earth and given this word, given this gift, as the book of Ephesians uh, talks about. Let's get that real quick, because the preaching ultimately uh, was, these, these gifts were ultimately sent down from Yahweh Shai for the, for the purpose that the church can be built up. Okay, so you can't, you have to take this calling serious. This is the uh, the greatest call that any man could be called with, man. And you have an opportunity, okay? 
to be all right uh, uh, written in the book of life okay now those that are written in the book of life are going to do things pertaining to life but ultimately ephesians the fourth chapter says what let's see here ephesians 4 Yep, in seven. But unto every one of us is given a, is given, uh, let me start over. Ephesians chapter four and five. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. It's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Just one, it's not many. And a lot of our people have a problem, okay, with, uh, uh, they, they, a lot of you don't even believe that the Heavenly Father through His Son sent down 100% truth on the earth. You see, see, 100% has nothing to do with this flesh. 100% has everything to do with the spirit that the Heavenly Father has sent down to His servants in these last days. And it's not partial. Okay, now, yeah, there's more to the story. But for the gospel's sake, for the dispensation of this gospel and this word to go out, the Lord has given us everything that it's going to take for our people to hear and have ears and turn back so we can get delivered. But you're so low-minded that you don't even have a, a, a belief that the, the Holy Spirit could be sent down and given to you in a 100% uh, fashion. You see? You don't believe, all right? But you believe in a resurrection. You see? You, you, you so-called believe in a resurrection. Miracles are happening. This is a miracle. But anyway, this is uh, Ephesians, the fourth chapter, okay? And seven. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Hamashiach. So each of us were given a measure everybody's measure is not the same everybody's gift is not the gift okay uh, uh, uh but 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 ultimately is one spirit towards what the building of the tabernacle of david okay and it's happening right in the face of our enemies who thought that they had us dead but the dead body has arose through the breath being breathed unto us and it goes all the way back to the breath that was breathed into adam you see which that will be a a, a legacy of instruction in ways that will be given to a specific line. And when you follow the Bible, okay, through through Seth, you have the sons of God because Abel was slew. And what did Abel do? He had a more righteous sacrifice, meaning the priesthood, because Adam was the first priest on earth, but that priesthood, that righteous way, the sacrifice, okay, would be unto this chosen lineage and line, okay, uh, 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 through Abel, but then through Seth. And see, Cain, the murderer which the spirit that was in Cain is in these devils today he wanted to cut off that word he wanted to cut off that priesthood he wanted to cut off that truth that's why he slew uh, uh, Abel because he wanted the, 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 the righteous seed line to not flourish and to this very day that spirit is in these Edomites and they've done everything that they can to destroy us but the heavenly father okay supplanted your ass you being supplanted all over again through the Lord giving us a behind the back pass through the spirit and let me not even play like that. But ultimately, he sent down the Holy Spirit. And it's secret. It's something you can't see. Something you can't alter. Okay? And we've overcome all of your lies, all of your bullshit, your drugs, your rap music, everything else that you've intended to destroy us. We're now rising above you in your lies. And you're pissed off. You see? And But, but why? Because we've been given gifts. These gifts were for us to overcome death. These gifts were given unto us in the form of us having a dispensation of the gospel. That's why I don't understand why some brothers get all beat down about not getting, you know, as much recognition as the the other, the, the other you know, and it's all the flesh. I understand. All right. But you got brothers who deal with the fact that may not get a, a, a lot of views and th those things are going to happen in the flesh. But guess what? You've been given a dispensation of the gospel. You've been given a gift directly from the most high, either either to teach it or to believe it. And to have ears to hear and eyes to see. That is a gift that separates you from the whole world. You see, at the time that Abraham was awakened by the Heavenly Father, okay, blessed by Melchizedek, he, he was in an uncircumcised state, okay? His father was worshiping idols, but what happened? The Lord separated him and gave him a new mind. He breathed the breath of life into him. Well, he separated from those idols, man. And we've separated from these idols and from the destruction that's coming to this place, Lord willing, through being separated from this, by this word, cleansed internally. You see, that's the true baptism is when an Israelite repents. You see, 
So when an Israelite repents, that takes away the money from the devil. That's the real thorn in his side. To to for because sin, as I said at camp, is the biggest business rolling. Okay, I heard a uh, 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 priest Daniela say that. Now I'm gonna talk about that debate too. But ultimately, for for a minute. But ultimately, uh, 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 sin is what makes Esau the most money. Think about it. All for you Israelites, he gets you to through sin. He's he he makes. I mean, he's sitting on a high horse. It's through the wicked acts being promoted and paid for and or whatever being forwarded sin so for you for the israelites to turn from sin you fucking up the money but it all starts with us being given this word okay it's a locket for my language i notice i've been uh throwing them out there lately you know that's not my intent hey but it's, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do but i do apologize all right this is ephesians the uh but because true curse words a true curse is for me to you know call evil you know these particular words that we say like bitch shit and whatever they're they're really just the 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 um, harsh language of this day you know every age had its harsh language how would shy use harsh language he called someone a serpent <laughs> he told peter get behind thee satan in the ancient world to call someone an animal okay he called that that's a curse word that that was the the modern you know back then that was like you calling somebody a, a dumb MF, basically the harsh language of that time. All right, and you just wait till all hell break loose. You gonna be saying every curse word. I don't care if you never curse. You gonna be saying some curse words in those days, so-called curse words. Ephesians four and seven. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Hamashiach. All right. Wherefore he said. When he ascended on high, he led captivity captive. Now, let me go back here real quick to Isaiah 60. See, when Yahawashai conquered death, when he rose from the dead, do you believe that? When he rose from the dead, what he did was conquer death. So that's our victory, man. So now we're conquering death, okay, as he was in the ground, you know, and after three days he rose. Okay, after three days and a half, we're rising in a spiritual sense. We were crucified with him being crucified with him going through that straight gate so that we can be brought back to the most high man and this is the only way to get there and it ain't going to be easy so you have to prepare your minds man okay isaiah 61 in one the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord have anointed me to preach unto the meek he have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted and to proclaim liberty to the captives and to in the opening of the prison to them that are bound Okay, and where, where, where were we captive? Here in the mind. Okay, because we're in captivity. Okay, but then you have the captivity of the mind. The, the earth under Esau's rule is a prison, but then you have the prison of the mind, this flesh. So double straits, man. You see, that's what uh, Matazarium means, man. In straits, meaning you're in a difficult position. And that's what Egypt was for the Israelites. And that's what this new Egypt is. But the issue with our people is here. Because ultimately, they still believe that they have a shot through Biden or, or through Trump or through America. It's not going to happen. But you have to understand the truth in order to separate from that lie. Imagine right now not knowing this truth and looking out into this world and, 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 and thinking about how you're going to vote your way out or, you know, get a business or, 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 or somehow establish some sort of legacy to pass down to your child. Imagine that. Imagine not knowing the truth. I, imagine not understanding why. But see, when we got this word, okay, we were we were we were unlocked. Okay, you see, the the scriptures say, a, a, a man cannot enter into a man a, a strong man's house and spoil his goods, save he bind the strong man first. Then will he go and spoil his goods. And where were we bound? Where did they really get us at? All right, our men and our women. They got our minds, man. And the women are basically just a result of a conquered nation. Because when one nation would conquer another, the first thing they would do is say, you bow, you worshiping my God, this is your name. Do, do, anything that you believe before now, however your life was before now, it changes. Even when we conquer the heathen nations, we would make them to bow to our God. You see what I'm saying? And that's what Esau did to us when he got us in the hardcore captivity, man. 
He was able to beat our true heritage out of us, our true understanding and connection with our, our, our power. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and from that point, he's able to go and manipulate, man. Get your woman, turn her against you. Okay? And that's what has happened to us as a nation. Okay? He, he, he put that bottle up on you, okay, as it says in Habakkuk, and you drunk that wine, but then you became, he, he took advantage of you. That's what Esau Edom does to us until this day. But guess what? The elect, the remnant, okay, we have the gift sent from on high, okay, that has unlocked us from those lies and we're free. The truth shall set you free. That's what separates this gospel from any other gospel in the world or any other belief in the world because everybody calls for this current age to go, to, 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 to stay, okay? You, if you really believe that this is it, this is where your glory lies and, and, and you plan on seeing your, your grandchildren, your great, great, great grandchildren graduate high school, then you, 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 you don't understand. Because ultimately the leaders of this world are, are honing in and on putting something inside of the children of Israel so that they can put, they can defile the temple. They want to defile the temple. Okay. And when you look at all of these major captivities that we've been through, the four beasts in the book of Daniel, the, uh, 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 the uh, seventh chapter, what did it start with? The Assyrian Babylonian Empire. Okay. And what happened? What did they do? They sacked the temple because the temple is the direct communication of the Most High with his people on earth, right? You see? So, so they, 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 they always wanted to sack the temple. Now, the Persians, okay, allowed us to what? Medes and the Persians, they allowed us to rebuild, okay, our, our temple, right? But then who came next? The Greeks. And what did they immediately do? They went into the temple and defiled it. They want you Israelites to be in a defiled state. So there they win. You have no connection with your power. They were sacrificing pork and, 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 and f swine's flesh upon the altars. They put all sorts of abominations. Hey, you had this dude, Nero, I believe. I believe it was him or Caligula. Basically, they erected a big ass um, 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 statue of them inside of our temple because they know that it defiles the temple. So now what they want to do is put a microchip inside of us because we are the temple. And, and how do you attack a spiritual temple? Because we're scattered. He's got, he's trying to look on YouTube. He's writing this down, writing that down. But there's really no way to, to, to put your hands on it because what? The, 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 the power is from on high. It's invisible. You can't touch it. You can't alter it. You can't put it in a bottle and hide it. No. It's literally been sent into our minds. Okay. And we've overcome death. We're overcoming death. We're not finished yet. You know, right now we're still subject to death. But when we get those new bodies, okay, but it all starts with the preaching of this word. We're speaking life into existence over death, man. Okay? So wherefore he said in Ephesians, the fourth chapter, okay, he ascended upon high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. And these gifts are the understanding of these scriptures, whatever all right, understanding you have, okay, so that the church can be edified. It says... Now he, now that he descended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? And Yahawashai, okay, in order to be uh, uh, given that rank, okay, back, you know, on the right-hand side of the Most High, he had to come down on the lower parts of the earth. He had to go through what he had to go through. Could you imagine? This is the top spirit on the right-hand side of the Most High coming onto the earth and being a slave just so he can be a sacrifice, all right, for our nation. You don't think about that, though. That's too much for a nigga, man. You see, the truth is too, is too simple. It's too basic. Jake wants this intergalactic, you know, understanding, uh, uh, understand but then the truth is, is far out. We're going to have new bodies. We got the chariots. The, the earth is going to be paradise, but Jake don't want that. Why? Because they're in captive, okay, to this, the, 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 the God of this world, all right? What does it say in 2 uh, Corinthians? I had no idea what I was going to talk about. <laughs> so this is all the spirit and power of Yahweh all the way. Because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, the spirit does what it does, man. And call Halal Yahweh Shai for waking us up. Because we didn't deserve it. 
You could have just been another potato salad eating nigga. <laughs> okay. It's nothing wrong if you eat it. You know, me personally, I'm lactose intolerant. But you know the potato salad eating nigga in America, okay, in that vibe, black culture, which has no standard. All of these cultures, what's your standard? You tribes are cursed. And, and, and the way he cursed Judah, Judah, you have no unity. You have no togetherness. But the Lord left a little bit of spirit in you. It's the, the, the northern tribes. They got a little, they had the unity. They still got that concept. Okay, but the, the Lord have them, got them in a reprobate, you know, following idols. So this is a miracle. What we're doing is a miracle. All the tribes coming together, this is a miracle, man. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them are lost, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. All right? Because the Lord don't want everybody to believe. Now, the God of this world is Esau and his science and understanding on what a woman is, what family is, has destroyed you Israelites to the point to where when you hear the truth, it, it grosses you out. Things were very, very far different in the East, all right, than they are in the West. These other cultures, uh, 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 you know, worshiped and bowed down to women, okay? We, we acknowledge Yahweh Bashmi Shai and his order that he set up between man and woman, which is a beautiful thing that produces life, it produces family, it produces a, 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 a life, it produces a legacy. That was the purpose of man and woman to come together and, 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 and establish a legacy and pass it down from generation to generation. And that's what Adam and Eve was supposed to represent. But through Eve's, uh, 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 you know, sinning, which symbolic of the church, okay, and Adam fall, you know, uh, fell, now, you know, uh, uh, we're through, all right? But we're coming back to that obedience in these latter days. We get it. We were brought over here to America, all right, to, to understand, all right, to, to see the, the, the wicked spectrum of the Most High's hand, all right? You have the left hand, you have the right hand. We were brought over here, all right, because we, we fell. So the Lord was like, you have to learn a lesson. And the, who's the, who's the, 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 the best coaches are hard teachers. Okay, and the hardest teacher of all is the Most High Himself, man. Look what He did to His Son, so that He can He had for, for Him to uh, to to be brought back into that glory, because He failed as Adam. Okay, He 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 failed as Solomon. Okay, but as Yahweh He came and He was 100% obedient unto death. All right, so the Heavenly Father said, "You know what? You're not gonna die to death." He conquered death. Okay, and what what happened, man? He was he eventually ascended back on high on the right hand side and now as a mediator and high priest for the elect and our people don't want to be under that order but that's all right you see our people hate order why do you hate order because the, you've been in america too goddamn long you look at order as jail as boring but that's all right look at look at what following a serpent has done to your ass and look at the, the earth all right let me read this real quick. Got you walking around with a daishiki and a mask on. This is uh, Ephesians 2. And I'm going to just jump to the point. Because these are the gifts. And he gave some apostles. Okay. And he gave some prophets. And some evangelists. And some pastors and some teachers. For the perfecting of the saints. And for the work of the ministry. And for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. So your gift was given for you to edify the body. And the fact that you even have a piece of it, all right, is 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 the greatest thing that ever happened to you. This is the greatest thing that ever happened to us. All right, when the Lord, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? You know, you guys in a private property. Oh, that's private? Yep. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I was just recording, reading the Bible. Okay. okay. Where can I go? Like... Okay.